Okay, so one of the things I see uh, quite a lot on the Apple forums is basically how to deal with numbered headings in Apple Pages, um, especially when you're importing a Word document. Um, it is a little bit of a pain, but uh, I'm going to show you exactly how it works, and it, it works quite well. I mean, it's, a, it's about an extra two mouse clicks compared with Microsoft Word. Um, so I think, you know, it, it's worth seeing. So, um, obviously Microsoft Word on the left, Apple Pages on the right. Um, so let's just open up a document. Um, this is something that was done on Windows XP on uh, Word 2003. Um, it's an old document I have from work. Um, and this is basically yeah, There's a little bit of lag on the screen because I'm recording the screen, so excuse that. It's not anything to do with the applications. So this is a typical document. Um, and what I want to do is I just want to add um, something here at the end. Um, and I'm going to put in here uh, final comments. And uh, of course, if you're used to Microsoft Word on the Mac, you'll know that you just basically go to the toolbox um, and you go to the um, sorry the styles section. Uh, I'm not thinking here. And you just say I want heading one and I want it to be numbered. And there you go. It follows directly from here. Eight um, goes to nine. And you will just type in, you know, here are my final comments, um, which I can type. And, uh, you know, that works quite well. Now, obviously, you know, whoever did this document didn't actually put in a, a table of contents, so let's just make sure this is actually working exactly um, how you want it to work. So we'll put in a page break, um, and now we're going to insert uh, a table of contents. Um, here we go, table of contents, let's just do classic. Um, you have a bunch of options here which are really nice, um, but you know, we're just going to do a classic insert, and, uh, and there you are, that looks pretty good. Right down to final comments. Now if you want to add, let's just say one more thing. Uh, excuse me for typing like rubbish my keyboard in a funny place. Um, that's also fine. Um, again, you just highlight um, and it follows on just perfectly. Number 10. And when you go back to your table of contents, um, this is unique to Microsoft, it's a little bit crappy, but you basically have to say update, um, update the entire table, and boom, it's there. No problemo. Alright? Now, if you look on Apple Pages, there's a little, there's an extra step that's needed to make all this work. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, basically open a exactly the same document. Um, it's converting this to, to Apple format. We get a little warning here saying um, something about text boxes. It, I haven't actually seen what it impacts. It doesn't seem to impact anything at all. The text boxes look slightly differently. Look slightly different, beg your pardon. Um, but here, here's how we do here. Um, final comments. Um, now here's where things get annoying. If you select this, you obviously want to make it heading one, but here's something to remember. Heading one is actually the original pages template heading one. And you can see here that this is actually Helvetica um, bold 18. On the original Word document, it was Arial bold 16. Okay, but this is actually heading 1A, and this is where some people get confused. So you need to make sure you pick the 1A to maintain compatibility. But here's where it gets irritating. If you select the number, it will start again on 1. It doesn't realize there's already an 8 here, and a 7, and a 6, and a 5. What you have to do is select all uses of that, select away, and then select 1, 2, 3, like that. And you can see now it says 9, um, which is quite nice. Now, let's just do exactly the same as we did on the Word document. Um, we're going to insert uh, a page break here. And on that page, we're going to insert uh, a table of contents. And it does it automatically. You've got slightly different um, styles and stuff here again. Um, I really hate the fact that it makes it so big. Um, let's bring it down to something a bit more realistic. And there you have it. Uh, that worked quite well. Now let's say we do the one more thing. Um, let's 
just uh, here are my final comments. Now one more thing. I don't like the way that Pages doesn't correct that by default. Uh, you can actually set that up as an option. Um, again, heading 1A, um, set the number, and again it goes from 1, so again you have to select all uses, and um, go back to bullet and go back to numbers. I'm sure that there might be another way of doing this, but I haven't figured it out. Um, but what's nice on pages is that when you go back to the table of contents, um, as soon as you highlight it, it, it adds it and you don't have to actually say update. And that is the way you do numbered headings in pages. Um, it works quite well. You know, it's an extra mouse click, but $70 versus, um, this is actually the student version because I'm at school. Um, as well as working, so I'm allowed to pay $150 for it. Um, it actually works quite well. Um, so if you know a better way of doing this, please respond to this YouTube video because I would love to know. Thanks for watching.